fungus growing up in under this tree. And if we're careful and don't shine the light on it, we can see a trapdoor spider right out there. And we are too late again. Oh, no, you can see it in there. Just barely peeking out. Maybe if I get the light just right. See some legs. It's in there. Eric's coming out, coming out to say hi. Oh no, it tried to close. It's trying to close the entrance. There it goes. Closed for business. Often see little water beetles in these rails. Oh, and looks like a damselfly. Is that what that is? I think I saw three tails on it. Oh, and there's a good sized trapdoor spider right there. Hello there, friend. And goodbye. This guy's really trucking along. Caught my eye as I was walking past. Interesting, you can actually see it breathing right there. A little movement, or maybe that's its pulse. Don't know much about amphibians. And I saw that there was one other one here. This one's looking rather plump. I might guess a male-female pair. Don't know much about them. Just one of maybe six or so amphibian species here that I've seen in the park. And uh, I don't know, it's all about the bugs for me, but Always good to see them. Well, I'd just be a big jerk if I didn't show you guys the trilliums. Beautiful. Oh, and right down there, you can see a tiger beetle larva, the head capsule there in the bottom of that burrow. Might get another look at one of those tonight. All of the trilliums here in bloom. Not uncommon during the day to see little lepturini, flower longhorn beetles, pollinating them. I really should just keep the camera on the whole time because stuff just happens every couple of steps. That there, I believe, is a duns. Learned that from Courtney, who you may have seen here, Jesse's fiance. Jesse, who accompanies me on many of the trips. This is the largest salamander species that we see around here. Yellowish coloration there on the body, sometimes a bit greenish. And the head of this gorgeous animal. Again, the reflection of blue in the eyes and a little turn of the head for us. I can smell a smoker at a distance. Not the smell that I want to smell out here. 10 o'clock at night in the park that I feel I have all to myself. I will say it's been a very good night here at the park. This Scaphinotus definitely not disappointing me, considerably larger than the Terastechus. A snail eater, 
You see the elongate mouth parts, perfect for squeezing into the shell of a snail. And then that metallic purple sheen there on the elytra, the would-be wing covers, if this species did have wings. If handled, they can emit a very foul smell, like so many carabids, the ground beetle family, carabidae. Definitely a contender for the prettiest beetle in the area. Snap, crackle, pop. My 46 year old knees. I'll be doing this forever though. Because what else would I be doing? 10 o'clock at night. These little pyramids, reflective. I was told that they are markers in case there were ever a forest fire here. The firemen could find their way through the trails, even through thick smoke by shining their lights on those things. Don't know if it's true. It's the leading theory. Stop here for a moment, a little bit of moss appreciation. And <laughs> a dandelion. For those of you that are better at appreciating them than the rest of us. And a very large trapdoor spider. Oh, the headlamp always scares him off. Well, and just here by my garbage can, right before I'm about to walk in the door, what in childhood I called a letter T moth. Have you seen these before? They're called plume moths. I want you to see how green this moth is. So pretty. There you go, that's a better shot. And right over here, got a tiger beetle, just chilling next to a little bumblebee. <laughs> tiger beetle eating something? Nope. Another moth over there. Pretty fun night at the black lights so far. Well, here's the other Omus, slightly larger one, Omus Dijonii, just cruising around right out here. See the dimples in the elytra there, a more impressive set of mandibles also, just right out here in the street, cruising around. Another one right here by the roadside. Might as well get it too. It's quite small, but it's got a very pretty sort of oil and water coloration. Well, just around the yard here, I guess we're gonna hit them all. This one, we can get the light on it. Look at that beautiful metallic orange perimeter. Got a few mites. Well, there goes a Terastikus cruising around there, but this over here is a Scaphinotus snail eater beetle. All of the beetles I just showed you here, oh, looks like metallic green. 
from this angle. It's interesting. And there goes our Terastikas. Similar in size. Well, who knows what's around the next bend. Got this banana slug right there in my yard, but just here. Something I haven't seen in maybe a couple years. It's a European ground beetle. Doesn't really belong here, but they're pretty widespread in the United States. Really colorful metallic purples. Caribus nemoralis. Well, I guess we have to be done here. My iPhone is out of storage. Thanks for coming along with me. I should probably not have this flash in my eyes so I can see where I'm going so that I can actually get to the editing process. Oops, that was definitely <laughs> the wrong direction. Hit the like button for me. Leave a comment. I'm going to be taking you guys to a lot of cool places in the next few months as we really kick off the Arizona Sky Islands adventures. It's going to be a lot of fun. See you next time. One last parting shot. Oregon side banded snail. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.